You're looking at live pictures there from Boston. We have learned that there have been two explosions near the finish line at the site of the Boston Marathon, the marathon and annual event that's been going on since 1897, drawing in roughly half a million spectators, 29,000 participants from all over the world. And the Boston police are now saying that there have been many casualties, as many as 12 casual, uh, forgive me, 12 injuries were reported earlier from the Boston Herald. However, now the Boston police saying that there are many casualties. Uh, we're, we're seeing all these details cross uh, sort of minute by minute. We're here on set with Richard Falconrath, former deputy commissioner of the New York Police Department. Um, and Richard, walk us through what authorities are, are dealing with as we speak. Uh, well, there's a lot of very scared people in there who need to be talked to, uh, explained they need to move away calmly and get out of the area, let the responders do their job. They've been trained. They know what they're doing. Uh, so far, at least, there have been no secondary events. Uh, that is, no attacks on the responders, and that's something to be uh, very fearful of. Uh, and uh, there will be sweeps and searches going on in that area. Then the crime scene will be secured, and it will become truly a crime scene. And teams of forensic specialists will come in and go through it very, very carefully. And, the, and by the way, the perimeter of that crime scene, what would be standard operating procedure? A quarter uh, mile, a mile? Uh, no, that's too big uh, in that case. The inner perimeter will be a block or two around the Im immediate uh, circum, you know, the, the event, and then the further perimeter will be whatever is operationally possible. Uh, and given that it's a built-up urban area, you won't, uh, you can't go that far. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the FBI will be on scene by now. If this is in fact a terrorist attack, it will be investigated under FBI jurisdiction. And uh, the Boston police, where they're responsible for the immediate life safety, they will at some point, if this is what it turns out to be, become a uh, supporting agency to the FBI uh, who will investigate it. They will bring in forensic specialists to investigate it to determine if there were explosive devices, how were they constructed, what material was used, how long had they been there, how large were they. Uh, and that will be put together with many other sorts of information that will come available are, over the next should, few hours. Are authorities, do you think, making the assumption that, in fact, that this was a terror attack at this point? Do you, do you need, as, as a member of law enforcement, to, to be coming at this from that angle right now? Uh, I want to answer that on two levels. At the public level, they won't say that yet. Uh, they're going to need some more proof. They're going to be quiet for a while. And if the White House uh, uh, spokesperson comes out and makes a statement, he will be equivocal for now. At the responding level, the answer is yes. They will, out of an abundance of caution, be treating this like an attack. That's what they've been trained to do. They uh, have evidence of two explosions, if that's the case. They have evidence of injuries of some kind. And so they will be treating this as a malicious event until they have evidence that it was not a malicious mm -hmm. event. The Should fact that there were two trash cans, is there significance in that, Richard? Yeah, two simultaneous explosions doesn't happen accidentally very often, if ever. And, uh, should and we so be... that, that fact suggests purposeful intent. Should we be concerned, Richard, uh, or, or, or perhaps uh, 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 relieved that there's no smoke? What, what does that tell you as someone who has dealt with with uh, anti-terrorism uh, events in the past? Well, it tells us it wasn't an incendiary device and they haven't had secondary fires, which is possible uh, in certain types of explosions. Explosions, in, in addition to generating blasts, generate a lot of heat and can set things on fire. Uh, fire uh, makes things a lot worse for everyone. That doesn't seem to have happened here.